this problem, a very common misconception that a lot of students will have on a problem like this is yes, we spent so much time talking about the sum of all the angles in a triangle, where the sum of all the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So yes, if I had the angle measures were, were my equations, then yeah, I could set up an equation. It's a very common misconception. So yeah, I could set up all those angles add up to 180. But you guys can see, these are not the angles. These are the side lengths. So we don't have any equation like that. It was nice for angles. And now, now you might say, man, I kind of wish to go back to angles. That was nice. But we don't have any angles that add up, or any side lengths that add up to a certain number. They're asking us to find the values of each of these sides. To do that, we have to find the value of x. The only thing we know is that each one of these sides are equal to each other. So I don't need to write a, an equation that for all of them equal to each other. I just need to choose an equation where two of them are equal. Then I solve for x. 2x equals 10. Divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 5. That means the value of x, Tommy, is equal to 5. So now, if I want to find the value of qr, the value of line qr is 5x. Well, x is equal to 5. So it's 5 times 5, which equals 25 units. For rs, that's 6 times 5 minus 5. 6 times 5 is 30, minus 5 is 25. Ask Q, 3 times at 3x times 5. 3 times 5 um, plus 10. And then you guys see how the measure of each one of those angles, Lauren? Lauren, you need to put your seat in front. Layla, do you need to move to a different house? You can move up front. No, you can move up front. I think that would be good. Um, so each one of those all equal 25, yes? Does it matter, like, since it would have been like 5x equals 6 minus 5? Yep, so let's do that. 5x equals 6x minus 5. Minus 6x minus 6x. Negative x equals negative 5. Divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1. x equals 5. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yes, Colin? Yeah, but what if I gave you totally, what if I gave you much harder numbers? This equate, this understanding helps, right? But yeah, you could probably just look at this and say, oh, it has to be five, right? But what if I, you know, what if I did like 1.5 minus 11? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to all be different, okay? Ooh. Well, not different sides. The other sides are equal. Um, but you have to have two sides that are equal.